Hello and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Now, today I would like to do some teleporting. It's great running on the round on the horse, but over a period of time it can become a bit slow. Especially if you want to keep going back to somewhere. And the, at the end of the last episode we'd built a miner, and the miner was getting blocked. It wasn't outputting the, the minerals for some reason or other. What it, all it was was a block of granite. I had a block of granite in here, it wouldn't go, or nine blocks of granite, it wouldn't go out. Now, in this case, I've got one emerald door, and things are still working, as you can see. It's quite happily picking up a load of materials, relatively slowly, but we've got other things to do, so it's not a big deal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get, build these teleporters. Now there's three components to this. We'll do. We'll start off with a standard teleporter, which is this device here. So for that we need four steel casings, which we've built before, just glass and steel. Basic control circuits, which is redstone in and osmium in the in the um, uh, metallurgy infuser. And here we've got a teleportation core which we made last time as well. But we made a few of these, so that's no big deal either. So what we should be able to do now is I should be able to get out of my chest here two of these, because we want to make two. And we'll also need some refined obsidian and some glowstone ingots. Those are for the frames. And the glowstone ingot is just glowstone in the osmium compressor with osmium. You always have osmium in the osmium compressor. And the same with the refined. We've done the refined um, obsidian ingots before. The recipe for those just wants oops, carpet. I don't want that one. I want this one. So again, this is refined osmium with an osmium, a couple of osmium ingots actually in the osmium compressor, uh, which of course is the diamond. I'm using the compressed diamond because it's by far the most efficient. You get eight for the price of one diamond. If you do just one diamond, just you get one. Um, so this refined osmium was simply osmium in the enrichment chamber giving you two of those. And you can also do it this way around to crush an existing osmium, which you probably wouldn't do that. Right, so now we've got our two teleportation, teleportation cores and let's get this machine assembled. Like that, two of those. And for each frame you need nine frame blocks. So here we've got teleported frames, we need nine of these. So that's basically one osmium glowstone ingot was surrounded by eight osmium ingots, refined osmium ingots in the chest. We've got set up for two of those. We'll do two. Oops, I've done three. Didn't want to do three. Never mind. I'm sure they'll come in handy later on. Let's move those back into this chest here. Actually, I've got one for my cousin and bits. Put it in here. I sorted out my chest and put labels on them. Now, what we'll do is we'll come down and we'll simply set up a, ba a little bit of a base here. Now, what we do also need to do is something else. Look, well, first of all, let's just eat a bit and dig in a little hole here. We'll have a three by three. There'll be sand underneath that, so I'll dig up the sand and I'll put back down the. Uh, sandstone because I prefer sandstone as a base right now in here we'll move these two out of the way we don't really need either of those for the time being we put one teleportation core like this and we'll surround that then by the oops what have I just done put in enrichment no it can't be enrichment chamber the personal chest in there let's just pick up my personal chest Now, try again. So it's very straightforward. It's just a, it's just a straightforward pattern of I think a three up and three wide. No, actually four up, wasn't it? And three wide. So it makes this the standard doorway frame of two blocks. And then in here, you right click the middle bit. So we have to basically set it. So we'll basically give it a channel. We'll call it one one zero for the name of it. And you click plus, and then you select that set. So that's now ready. So you can now teleport to this. But it says 
no link so it's not linked to anywhere yet we can actually do the same thing again let's just put one another one let's just create another one i'm going to move this afterwards i'm not going to dig it down let's jump up here and here one more on top of that and then we should be able to from here reach all the other bits So this is another frame we can do the same thing on this one we can set that one and then we should be able to teleport between the two you see now it's gone that way do i teleport to that one or not so look frequency set oh, what's it complaining about it needs energy ah so this does need power so i better give it some power so what am i going to use for power easy power Let's have a look what we've got in the mechanism bits. Have I got any energy teleporter frames? I've got a couple of these. Biofuel generators. I haven't got any biofuel, but should be, shouldn't be a problem. I've got, right, put that on there like that. Shift click it, I reckon it'll do. Now, is that the wrong way around? Yes, it is. We'll hopefully quickly get the configurator out and turn it round. So here's a configurator, and we want actually I want wrench mode. So rotate works like this. If you rotate it, it basically works on the direction you're you're facing. So if I want it to be rotated to the back, there's this side. I do I should be able to do it like that, but it's not doesn't seem to work as you expect it to do there you go see but I can't reach this face since I can't reach this face we'll go to the wrench mode and then when you sit when you simply right click it in the wrench mode it goes around now now you hear it's running well I can anyway because it's got some biofuel in this one already so now it's presumably powering this teleporter oops didn't mean to do that I wanted to look at the teleporter so let's look at the teleporter here so you can see now it's got some power so if I now tell you jump into this I teleport the other side doesn't need power only the standing side needs power interesting isn't it so you say you can't travel back so I can't travel back with this one until I give it some power well let's give it some power um, dig down one and pick up the biofuel generator and I'm gonna see if I can see if I can do it this way around. Where did that go to? Whoop. Ah oh yes it's in the right place. It's just invisible on this side. How oh, very strange. So this has also got power. If I walk into this one, I go to that one. And if I can walk into this one, I go to that one. I need to. So the next thing we're going to do is build a personal teleporter. Like those things power up those machines. So the personal teleporter is this device here. So we need another teleportation core, two energy tablets, and two basic control circuits. That's no big deal. We should, may even have. I've got the control circuits with me. So we just need to make some um, of the tablets. I've got three gold, which is not enough. And I need, for that, I need some redstone. I think I need redstone. And I need the enriched alloys for the batteries. I also need oh, energy tablets. Let's just come out of it. I need some gold. But while we're doing this, let's go and get the gold to process. Let's take a few of these. Let's take half of a stack. So I'll take a full stack and split it into two and put the other half back again. Well, I kind of like the right one that is. So then we're going to stick the gold into this chest. And of course it'll go around and do its business. And also I want to get some gold ingots. So I'll shove these 64 straight into here. I sorted this out a bit because this is where I want to have the items for enrichment there they go so they'll be back in a second 
Oh, we need, uh, I think, is it three for each um, battery? Let's have a quick look. Energy tablet, let's have a quick look. Yes, we need three for each energy tablet. So we need at least six gold. Right, we've got plenty now. That'll do it. We'll let those carry on processing. Now, what we need to do with this is we need those. So, with a look, I should be able to get it too. So now I should be able to assemble this. I'm missing the energy core because I didn't take it out of this chest. But that's the only thing I'm missing. So let's just do this and get that one. So now we've got this one ready. So, but it needs charging and it also needs an owner. And in the same way blood magic does it you simply right click it in the air and then you become the owner of that item now we need to charge it up and the way I'm going to charge this one up is with the uh, energy set cube down here in fact it's already got some energy used up let's put that into this plus button here and then it charges up fairly quickly Right, done. Now we can tune this in. Good question as to what's going to happen is if I tune to this one, so I can set, and then I can teleport. But I don't know which one I'm going to come out of. We'll see. So I came out of the first one. I don't think it's random. Let's just try that again. Nope, it's the one above ground. Now I think, with a bit of luck, this will be fully charged. Just about fully charged. This is still working. But this can have one upgrade on it. So let's come here now and have a look at the upgrades we can do. It can have an anchor upgrade. It's actually important. So we'll go and make two anchor upgrades before we do anything else. Trouble with the anchor, uh, I did this before when I was testing it, and I found that if without the anchor upgrade, if it came out of um, the chunk wasn't loaded anymore, you couldn't teleport. So let's have a look at the anchor upgrade. That's fairly straightforward. Diamond dust and enriched alloy and two glass. Okay, we've got those, we've got glass, so we just need some diamond dust. Oops, no dust in there, we'll make two of these. And we'll simply put these into the crusher. And at the moment, the only way I'm going to put these, I don't need diamond dust that often, so I'll just put them straight into the crusher like that. But they will, of course, come out and come into this chest as crushed diamonds, I hope. There we go. Oh, did I just put that in the enrichment chamber? Oh, well done. Try again. Yes, I did put them in the enrichment chamber. No matter, we use quite a lot of this, so it's not a big deal. And I've got no shortage of diamonds. Try again, put it in the crusher. Those generators are really loud. Right, an odds crushing machine. Check it this time. There we go. Right. So now we get our diamond dust. In fact, that's a good example of why I didn't automate this as well. So now we can build the personal, the anchors. We need two, one for each teleporter. And we'll put one in each teleporter. One I won't need because it's going to, I'm going to take this up to where the mine is. Or the, see now we've got that. And that's the only that's the only one. There's no power saving or anything like that. And we'll do the same with this one. This one will definitely need it because this is the one that's staying here at the base. Now that should also be full, no, not yet full of energy. But this one should be full of energy. Oh no, not yet full of energy. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this one here. In fact, it's probably be quicker to use the configurator, wouldn't it? Let's see, I think I'm probably in range mode. Nope. Yes, I'm in range mode. So I can't break this with the wrench. Okay, so I'll just break this with the Paxel. Oh, 
I'm not pulling these items to me, so maybe I've run out of inventory space. Wouldn't be the first time. I oh, know, I've got space. Right. So we should have nine of the eight of those. We should have nine. Where's the where's the ninth one gone to? Whoa. For the long way. And we'll clear up the inventory and then we'll go off to the digital miner and set this up. I will keep the biogenerator with me and I've got a little bit more fuel here. But we don't really need it. Where else do we need in here? We probably don't need the sand and we probably don't need the sand so we'll keep it with us anyway. Quick sword. That looks fine. So, the horse should be outside. What time of day is it? Probably coming up to night time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come take the horse to get to the digital miner and then I'm going to teleport my way back again. And there is a route where I can avoid most of the trouble spots in terms of uh, hills. If I go over the savannah here, if I can actually go this way a bit more. We do need to get over this savannah, this, this river. So we now managed to get into the savannah without having to go over the water. And what I'm going is a slightly to the right of the the village, but not into the water. Just keep into the edges here. And then we come across another desert. And I have to jump over this bit. So let's get ready for that. Find a nice narrow bit here. And there we go. And what we also need to do is we just go around the side of this bit here. But in fact, what I'll do, I think the digital miner is now 300 blocks away. We do figure on the water here, because it's only one block deep. The horse doesn't have a problem. Go slowly, as you do in water, but that's fine. There we go again. This is where I fall off the horse, of course, because I'm too far away. Let's see if I can reach him. I right, got him. Drag him out. Get on him again. And off we go. This time, I think I can avoid it. Look here, you see the, there's a hill, and it's directly in front of that. So let's just jump over this, if we can. Yeah, made it. Let me go up the side of this hill here. Trying to get across. Should be able to get there a bit more. Or we'll go around it. Here we go. That's really fast, isn't it? So, now I'm going to dismount, but I need to be careful here because the horse is in a bit of a difficult position. Not too bad. Okay, let's fat my fence post. Get the food out of the way, put one fence post down, say here, and attach the horse to that. And then he won't run off the next time I come. Like that. Now, if I look at where the digital miner is in this particular place, get round here, there's a big hole, obviously a big cave. And because I've got the Feed the Beast utilities, and I can press F9 and see where the chunk boundaries are. And it looks to me as though this digital miner here, which has also got an anchor upgrade in it, is in this chunk. So if I place down, for example, the um, teleporter here, pick up the snow and the, the rock, if I can, and put down the teleporter. So there we go. Have a look. 
one teleporter in the middle. We'll also put down um, here, well, I think we'll put it down here, the energy generator, the biofuel generator. Put it that way around there. It should automatically connect and it's actually already charging up this. You don't need the charge if you've just got the portable teleporter. But if I want to transport, teleport between these two using the teleporter frame themselves, I do need it. There we go. Now we just need to set the channel and we should be able to then teleport just by walking into this. Or another option, there we go, like that. Turn it off again, F9, I don't need that. Another option is to use the personal teleporter and give each one of these a different name. So for example, if I'm here, I'm going to teleport to this one. Uh, so it's set, just teleport. I'm here. And I'll always come back to this space. So I can basically go there and then back. And this is just working just fine. You can see items being mined out of here occasionally. If I want to give it more speed and more power, I just add some more. Or we can use the quantum... Uh, the quantum entangler porter to actually pass energy into the digital miner too. But we haven't can't do that just like that. We'd have to take this, for instance, and either I would put the quantum. Oh, let's move this. I, I'm pretty certain I should be able to attach this directly to that. But for the sake of demonstrations, if I took some basic universal cable here and I actually do it like this, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I probably have to take it in the sides here. looks a bit tricky. It actually link wants to join up there, so that's be interesting. Let's try that one. And then remove this one. Good. So then I should be able to take use the, the quantum entangle porter to give it more power. Let's have a look. Let's see if that actually does work. Let's quickly go back. The base and take the quantum entangle portal here. It should also be joined up to this power supply here. So if that is the case, then let's, let's try this. This has got eight megajoules in it. And that's set and the configuration for energy is all the sides except for the face. I don't think you can auto eject energy. We could try it. Now maybe this is then getting energy, but it's difficult to say if it is getting energy. The only way you'd know is if this ah, it's not going to get a lot of energy because it's not very powerful. So what we can do, and we can get a more powerful generator. This one, has it got any fuel left? No, it's got some energy left in it. Let's just click this one and then put that onto this quant. Ooh, I wonder which face it is. Let's have a look. So let's go to here and then change it to configurator energy and have a look. So that's the red side. So if we shift right click that, and then the green side, then it's the input side. So we can then jump on top of it and put the uh, energy generator or biofuel generator here and with a bit of luck we should see the power of this one going down let's go back to this configuration if it doesn't work it doesn't work I'm just having a, a little play let's just turn that auto eject off well It doesn't seem to be going down. It's still got the same amount of energy in there, so it doesn't look as though it's actually working. 
Mm -hmm. I wonder if I have to move this somewhere else. I could try just putting a cable on the top of this. I'm a bit close to these and I don't really want everything to attach. I don't seem to have much choice, so let's just put this on here and then we'll take this round. Funny when you do that. So it's not generating, it's not using any power, so it doesn't look as though it's working. Maybe I have to set it on the other side. It's set and the and the top will be an input. So let's go. Oh, I know what I might have done. I might not have set the other side to be an output. Anyway, fairly straightforward. Let's go along this teleport to that one. Oh, it brought me here. <laughs> maybe, it takes me, maybe it takes you to the nearest one. So what do we now have here is we want this to be an input side. actually wants it an output side don't we so we want to go back to energy and let's have a look so that's set to input now it's set to output oops uh, <laughs> hello zombie there's going to be an X zombie in a second right so that may be doing it faster we shall see let's go back again and have a look at what's happened to the generator over here. See if it's used all the power. It doesn't seem to have used any. Maybe I have to set that to auto eject. Let's try that. Where's it gone to over here? Seems a bit odd to auto eject energy, doesn't it? Right. So I suspect it's not working. That might be my problem as usual. But it still looks as this has got energy in it. Yes it has. So it doesn't seem to be feeding it in properly. Or as I was hoping it to do. It has got the right face on this, hasn't it? Yes, that's green. And the other one was red. All right, that's it. I'll see if I can figure it out. I probably can't. It does actually look as though it's working faster. Before the items weren't coming through as fast as that. Ah, it's working. Fantastic. So now I can speed this up by simply giving it more power. Okay, great. Until next time. Bye for now.